Happy Halloween. <laughs> Welcome to Berry Cunel. What is up, my ghoulish, amazing diamond cubs? Welcome back to Berry Key Nails, sending love and kisses to all of y'all on the spookiest of days. Just wanted to sit here and get my left hand worked on. I'm still rocking the right. I think they came out super cute. It kind of is giving me like Blair Witchy vibes. I hope everybody's doing fantastic. I hope you have a fantastic Halloween, whether your plans are to sit at home and watch scary movies or go out with your children or yourself, who cares? I'm excited about this design. So we're gonna be using this orange, beautiful color from Not Polish called Last Love. And then we're going to be using Extremely Black from Forever Beauty. And we are going to be using my size 14 Kiara Sky brush with Kiara Sky Monomer. So I wanted to do at least one. I wanted to do another orange black moment. So I'm laying down the black acrylic first along the nail. And then you'll see but yeah i hope everybody's doing awesome i'm sending love light and positive energy to y'all i'm so thankful for each and every single one of you and i appreciate you so much for being a part of the journey
Yes, I love like splaying out my hand like that because it just looks like. <laughs> Alright, we're getting into that orange now, and I'm going to apply that on all of my natural nail bed. So, um, you didn't see me put any clear down um, or anything before because I actually still have a layer from the solid non-stick extension gel from Born Pretty. I still have like a layer of that protecting the nail from the color, so that's why I didn't do clear. And I'm having a little hard time. It's so hot, my goodness. This heat is no joke. I really hope we start getting some cool weather in Florida because if not, I'm about to punch somebody in the face. <laughs> oh, just kidding. So hubby and I are going to Howl Low Scream for the first time at SeaWorld for Halloween night. I'm scared, but I'm excited. Um, not sure if everybody knows, but, um, we do live in central Florida in the Orlando area. And so we're very close to a lot of the theme parks. Disney's about 45, 40 minutes away. Universal is about 50 to 55 minutes from where we are. Um, and SeaWorld is about maybe 35. It's a little closer. Um, so I'm excited. This is the first time we're going there. We have gone to um, Universal's Halloween Horror Nights before, and I've gone quite a few times. So this is my first time going to the SeaWorld one. Very excited. Have y'all ever been to the theme parks in Orlando? And if so, which one?
All right, we have officially broken out the clear. <laughs> so I'm using Extremely Clear from Forever Beauty, and we are just going to clear cap all of the nails just to protect the ombre and, you know, just to protect it and give it some more structural strength. I sounded fancy.
cleaning that brush. Don't forget to clean that brush. If there's anything in there, try to get that out before you store it. <laughs> so I'm just making sure it's good. So this is what it looks like. Um, we are going to start filing with this straight, um, it was the 6060? Yeah. Um, and going along the sides and we're gonna start doing some shaping and then I'm gonna go in with a five in one bit and clean up the cuticles a bit. By the way, um, you remember the, the uh, y'all see, obviously I'm using the new drill that I got and unboxed in a previous video from M brand. Y'all, I'm in love with this drill. It works so great. It is so powerful, like no lie. I'm loving it. <laughs> it helped me remove that solid gel. It got rid of everything so fast. Definitely recommend. Oh, and I actually, because, um, who said it, it was, um, Miss Vitaloo, um, she, uh, called it, she said it was very posh, so I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna call it Victoria, like, this posh spice girl. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just putting on some cuticle oil on the nails and using a small buffing block and buffing those nails to get a nice, smooth, scratch-free surface. Time to go wash and scrub those hands. All right, gals and ghouls, I am now putting on the base coat. I'm using Born Pretty's fantastic base coat that they sent me along with their super top coat I'm going to be using later. And this is very important. This is to make sure that your gel polish or whatever we are going to be using sticks to the acrylic. Acrylic likes acrylic, gel likes gel. Oh, and um, you saw that I'm going to be using spider gel um, and uh, the Born Pretty metal painting gel and that super laser. I'm going to be using that too. All right, we are out of the lamp. I cured it for 60 seconds and wipe off. I'm gonna be taking off the, uh, like the sticky, slippy layer that is on top of the cured base coat. 
I'm gonna take that off using a lint-free wipe and some rubbing alcohol. This is to help the stickers that I'm gonna use later to adhere better. Because at least from my experience, whenever I try to apply stickers directly onto an unwiped base coat, the sticker tends to either lift or it slides around too much. So I just do that to prevent the slippage and stuff. So y'all yeah, remember that one set I did, uh, I don't know, it was a few videos back when I brought out the spider gel. I was like, I really like this. So I kind of wanted to just stick with the the, perp, the um black and orange for, you know, the typical Halloween pumpkin-y moment. And I'm going to use the, uh, the spider gel basically to look like webbing, sort of. Um, obviously I'm not doing the intricate of, you know, paint job of, you know, drawing the lines and, you know, doing an actual spider web, but I love how this looks. I love the effect of spider gel. I think it's really cool. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm trying to pick it up different ways, trying to rotate my hand around the finger different ways. So it lays different, you know, spider gel, you have to kind of like get used to working with it. But I like it a lot. It's really fun. And we are going to do this on all the fingers. All right, now that we have cured for 60 seconds, I'm just gonna take some of this metal painting gel. And I'm not sure, I'm sure you guys saw that I filed off a, a little too much of the acrylic on the tips of the fingers. So they look a little clear. Uh, so I'm just gonna take some of that holographic gel and I'm just gonna put some on the tips. All right, we are cured out of the lamp. The spider gel is cured. The laser gel is cured. So now I'm gonna go in with some cute little stickers and I am going to use them to decorate the nail bed area. Just some cute little stuff.
All right, so we're still applying our stickers and, you know, trying to fit some wherever I can on the orange area. And we are then going to go in with our Born Pretty Super Top Coat and let that sit for a couple minutes to cool down while those molecules stop bouncing around and everything is fully hardened just to avoid getting any dullness in top coat and stuff like that. All right, my loves, we are out of the lamp, finally. This is the final look. I hope you like. I thought they came out super cute. It's kind of like I took, like I put my fingers together and I like just went inside of a spider web. <laughs> That's kind of like the look I guess I was going for. But um, I did let the nails cool off already. It's been a couple minutes, so. I'm going to be applying my cuticle oil, just rubbing it on the cuticles to make sure they're nice and nourished. I try to do it every day. Sometimes I forget, but I'm trying to let my cuticles heal up because of that little mishap from the drill <laughs> when I first got her. That Victoria. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, uh, it's a learning curve. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate y'all so, so, so much. Like, super much. Like, totally a lot. Like, super, super a lot. <laughs> Love y'all. Pushing that positive energy out. Just pushing it out to y'all. Love y'all. Peace. Unpleasant dreams.